On July 16, 2009, Supreme Master Ching Hai accepted an invitation by radio talk show host and producer of Spiritual Awakening Radio, James Bean, for a discussion about the connection of vegetarianism to global warming and spirituality. On his blog, Gaia at santmat.gaia.com, Mr. Bean, who is also a comparative religion scholar and book reviewer, shared the seven things which he believes. God is real. God is love. All the world scriptures teach about the same manifestation of God as an inner mystical light and sound. Our true identity is soul, the self. We can experience God's love during meditation and can rise above the body consciousness to explore the kingdom of the heavens within. And finally, our purpose of life is fulfilled when we are initiated into the mysteries of the spirit by a living teacher or Sant Sat Guru. To share the wisdom of the masters, the richness of the world scriptures, and the diverse spiritual paths and world religions, Mr. Bean started to produce his own programs on Spiritual Awakening Radio, which is a weekly program broadcast on HealthyLife.net radio network. Founded by Linda McKenzie in 2002, HealthyLife.net was one of the first live all-good news radio stations on the internet. It initially broadcast five days a week, and two years later, HealthyLife.net has over 2 million listeners worldwide in 49 countries, broadcasting 24-7. Today, it has millions of loyal listeners in over 100 countries, reaching over 1,200 cities throughout the U.S. HealthyLife.net Radio is also syndicated on many internet radio streams, private radio networks, and is available on Wi-Fi, PDAs, and smartphones. We now invite you to listen to part two of an interview with Supreme Master Ching Hai by James Bean of Spiritual Awakening Radio on July 16, 2009. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. And uh, you mentioned that uh, there are different uh, levels or inner realms. Uh, I remember watching a video. I have I have some of your DVDs and and actually some old VHS uh, tapes too from long ago that someone gave to me. You have? Uh, oh yes, I've got some of your talks, and you mentioned the different levels. Yeah. The different heavenly. What would be uh, the levels? Ah, okay. Well, um, for the humans, you know, that are incarnated on this planet, we can attain. Uh, one of the five levels, which is uh, in the, you know, so-called spiritual uh, steps, spiritual consciousness, um, we can attain from the first to the fifth. And the fifth would be the highest for a human to attain. For example, the first one, we call it astral level. The second, we call it the intellectual level. Uh, the third it would be the creative level. The fourth, what they call the void in Buddhism, hmm? emptiness. You will be empty of all desire and you will feel blissful there. And the fifth level is the level of the true home. Fifth heaven is where God is. Yes, yes. Where the highest of the manifestation of Godhead, you would call it, would be available to a mortal human to be in contact with. Above the fifth level, there are other levels, okay, James? Right, right. The one who descended to these physical realms have a different kind of karma, different spiritual makeup. And so when they are liberated, they could go to the fifth level, yes? And from there, they could be a master of humanity, could be a teacher, or they could just stay there and enjoy the blissful uh, presence of God, the feeling of God. God's self, the feeling of oneness with God. 
Yeah. So, so we can only talk up to the fifth level. All right. Yes, indeed. So the first level, like astral level, uh, if we attain that level, mostly we will feel like, oh, ah, uh, we have a lot of power if we attain it. Okay. Suppose uh, you and I attain the astral level, then suddenly you will feel like everything you want come easily to you. And everything you wish suddenly will appear somewhere. Or you have a power to change the situation by mere wish, because the astral level is a magical power level. But that is not the ultimate, of course. And then the second level, if we attain it, then we have a lot of intellectual power. We have eloquence. We will never be defeated in any arguments. We will be always the winner. We have such a tremendous power of conviction and in speech that anyone hears us would feel like, oh, we are right. And uh, we will have victories all the time in any debate, for example. Eh? And we can also, by the way, see in our past and perhaps our future as well, because we can have access to the Akashic record, which is in the second level. Right. Now, on the third level, we will have a lot of creative power. A lot of things, ideas, you know, projects to come to us easily, if we but have time to realize them. We be a lot, a lot of ideas coming, a lot of talents come out, a lot of abilities. Anything you never thought you have would come to you. On the fourth level, you'll be more calm, more gentle, or very peaceful in demeanor and uh, thinking and uh, manner. Every day you feel life is easy and good, and you feel loving and kind. On the fifth level, that is the level of the truth, of the Master. And you will realize much aspect of God which uh, Scripture cannot describe and which you also cannot describe. Right, beyond words, beyond form, yes. beyond the physical. Yes, but then we don't have that much of the eloquence anymore. We pass that stage. So sometimes... Uh, you find that if you're on the fifth level and people accuse you of something and you know you haven't done it and you know it's wrong and you know their concept is wrong, but it doesn't come to you quickly to answer them or to defeat them, like when you were in the second or almost third level or something like that. So in China, there is a saying that the wisest man seems like the most stupid. Ah, Maybe. yes. And the Tao that can be named is not the real Tao? Yeah, yeah. Maybe that saying came from one of the realization of the ancient saints. Ah, uh, and it is true like that. <laughs> it is different. And then you will wonder, how come uh, a few years ago I was so quick and sharp-witted? I can always defend myself. I can always uh, win in any argument. And now suddenly I'm like, speechless or dumbfound in many situations. I look like I regress in spiritual practice, but it's not like that. You just get over one of your stage. Just more within yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know some writings of mystics that are like that, that are kind of unintelligible or in a different language almost, you know, just hard to, to read, hard to understand. Yeah. They're just in a different place, a different state. Right, right. And the uh, five precepts are very nice. Um, refrain from taking the life of sentient beings. And that, of course, includes following a uh, vegetarian diet. And yes. refrain from speaking what is not true. Refrain from taking what is not offered. Refrain from sexual misconduct. Refrain right. from the use of intoxicants. Right. Drugs, alcohol, and other addictions. Right. Those are very nice. That reduce karma and keep people out of trouble. Yes. Also, this is the way a human should behave, huh? A human should have this kind of quality, at least, to be qualified as human. Hmm? Uh, yes, ahimsa is one of my favorite words, uh, non-violence and yes, thought yes. word indeed. And then from then on, we can spring to the next level. Hmm? Hmm. Without this, if we are below all these characters or quality, of uh, a normal human, then we cannot spring into the next level of sainthood. For example, if we don't qualify ourselves 
as a graduate from high school, we cannot apply for college. Yes, yeah. If the outer life is in chaos and conflict, it it would be hard to meditate. Yes, even, even, even if we live the life of uh, undiscipline and guilt, uh, we can never uh, calm our mind enough to reach a higher level of consciousness. That's very logical. Yes, makes sense. Absolutely. So this is not like a commandment from God or from any master or any Puritan group or anything. It's just a category of a human, and we should have all this at least to be a human. To be a true human being. Yes, to be human being. Actually, according to Buddhism, anyone who keep this five precepts cleanly, even if he doesn't practice any Kuan Yin method or any other yogic practice or meditation. They would be reincarnated again as a human and not go to hell or a lower level of consciousness or not suffering uh, next time again. Uh, Even if they're born as human, they will be healthy, nice looking and have enough uh, financial uh, uh, comfort, for example. And will probably uh, learn meditation sooner or later. Yeah. And kind of keep on growing, keep on evolving. Right, right. So if people want to practice uh, the Kuan Yin method or uh, spirituality at home, what would they do to uh, begin? They should begin to clean up their life wherever need cleaning. For example, the five precepts. Instead of uh, killing or eating meat, we should refrain from all that which harms other beings, which hurts other beings in any way, which make them suffer or like in the Bible say stumble and fall and then we have to live a chaste and clean life Mm -hmm. then we can start to think of uh, seeking a spiritual guide a spiritual friend who is capable of instructing us into the life beyond because without a clean vessel no matter what kind of uh, Alexia, we put in that cup, it will become poisonous or murky or unfit to drink. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels, reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions, reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%, reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, Increases life expectancy up to 15 years. Higher IQ. Saves 70% of a total cost of 40 trillion US dollars for reducing global warming. Uses 4.5 times less land to grow food. Conserves up to 70% clean water. Saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing. A solution for world hunger. Free up 3.4 billion hectares of land. Free up 760 million tons of grain every year, or half the world's grain supply. Consumes one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production. Reduces pollution from untreated animal waste. Maintains cleaner air. Saves 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year. Stop 80% of global warming. Plus more. Save your life. Be veg. Go green. Yes, in, in order to, to truly appreciate the guide, yes, to follow the precepts makes it easier to appreciate the guide, to, to learn, to, to focus. Yeah, it's not just about appreciating the guide. It's about ourselves. Uh, it's just as I said, the cup, if it's not clean, if it has some dirty things in it, then you right. pour beautiful juice in there, it will poison you even, or it, it will taste terrible and it's not a juice at all. And then, right. uh, no matter how much meditation practice we put into uh, every day, we won't get anywhere. Right, right. Because the two doesn't mix, you know. Like, uh, we have to be pure, like heaven, in order to attain heaven, like a track light. Yes, the outside and the inside uh, in harmony, 
with each other, your inner self and your outer world all kind of on the same page, you could say. Right, right. Have to be. Mm. We have to live the way we think heaven would be. If we imagine a heaven being, because we human always pray to heavens or pray to angels, and we think they are a benevolent being. They would never hurt anyone. They are helpful, they are compassionate, they are loving, they are protective. You see, they are peaceful. So if we want to be like them, we have to start living like that. Yes. And the five precepts is helping us to go nearer and nearer to heaven. As we uh, become perfect human beings, we can spring to the next level of spiritual uh, achievement. And if we're uh, being peace ourselves, we will attract more peace. You know, we'll go in that direction, you know, draw more peace towards ourselves and just kind of go to that level. That's right. That's right. Whatever we expect to have, we must start living that. Yep, that's what we'll attract. Yes. If we want to be in heaven or experience heaven, we have to start to live a life of a heavenly-like quality. Hmm? Is that logical? Very, yes. very. <laughs> yes. Like if we want to have a college degree, university, we have first to be diligent and study well and graduate high school. And then we can apply for college. And once we apply, we have to go to college. We have to live the life of a college student as expected. We have to learn there. We have to do things like a college student. Huh? Right. And uh, a good student enjoys learning and enjoys reading. And it's probably a very important spiritual principle to mention that these precepts, uh, rather than being a burden, are fun. Like when I became vegetarian, I enjoyed food more than ever before. Oh, yes. It was not a duty or a burden. Yes. Uh, yes. But something good, something fun. Yes. Also, we realize that this is a correct way to live and it is more compatible to our higher self. Then we feel more noble and more righteous and more correct. And therefore, a burden, guilt, and feeling uh, of uh, heavy burden will be lifted from our shoulder. And that's how we elevate ourselves and can catch up with heaven then. <laughs> Right. These are all good things and will lead to a better life, more peace and enjoyment of life. More fulfillment. More fulfillment. Yes. And then if we have fortune to meet a guide or a friend who uh, help us to practice the direct contact with God, which is uh, like the Kuan Yin method, uh, the method of the light and sound, because light and sound is the aspect of God. Uh, it's aspect of our real self. So if we contact with that immediately, that means we are already in contact with our real self or with God's self. So the Kuan Yin method is the one that helps us to get that directly. Uh, other method maybe can get that after a long while or maybe not. But Kuan Yin method is immediate. Like if you have initiation from a competent master, yes, then he or she should give you the experience of light and sound the first day already. And from then on, you develop more and more every day. And you get more and more light and sound, or at least a light and sound every day, or your life become more blissful. Every wish you fulfilled, life become more noble, saintly, happier, and more of a saintly quality. But light and sound, that's what it is. Light and sound is what we are. And if a master can show us that the first day already to have a first taste, then we know we are in contact with God or with ourselves. Because even all the ancient masters or the scriptures told us that God is light, God is sound, vibration, splendid melody. So if we can hear that without the ears, we can see the light without the eyes, then we know we are in the kingdom of God. Yes, experience right now. Yes. In this present life, because many people think of, well, after death, then I'll get in touch with that. But if you get in touch with it now, then you know what you have. Yes, yes. Uh, if we don't have now, who knows if we die, we have or not. 
<laughs> yes, there's a Kabir poem that says something to that effect. If you don't break your ropes while you're alive, do you think ghosts will do it afterward? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yes. Because the dead people don't come back and tell us. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Rumi also said so many similar things. Oh. Yep, everyone's getting familiar with Rumi poetry these days and getting a, a little bit of a taste of that uh, yes. mystical teaching. Right, right. So all the master has told us what to do, it's just that we don't do it. You see, they all say that we have to have a taste of heaven. Yes, but uh, mostly people don't know where to find it, or they don't take care to find it. And then they complain that God is not there, God is nowhere, but God is now here, <laughs> all the time. Right. And just a matter of <laughs> within, to look in the right place. Right. Tune to the right station, right, so to speak. Right. Like radio, huh? Yes. If yeah. your radio frequency is uh, 100, and I just turn it to 80 or 50 or 200 even or 300, I will never get you. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> well, this is wonderful speaking to you today. Oh, it's nice to speak to you again. Yes, it's great uh, speaking to you today about meditation and uh, uh, checking out your new book, Celestial Art. Oh, that's not really my book, James. It's the book that... Uh, the residents who lives in Sihu wrote it. Ah, yeah, it's it's quite a large book, so quite a quite a bit of work went into that. Yeah, they love their place and they love what is there, so they really put their heart into it. And of course, I liked it very much as well. <laughs> yes, I was very proud of their job. Yes, yeah, that's a huge book. Lots of uh, photos and and lots of uh, teachings too. A lot of quotes in there. So anyone can learn as well as enjoy the photography and the art. Oh, good. I'm glad you found it that way. It's very generous of you to commend it thus. Yes, indeed. But I think I have most of your book. Oh, you did? My goodness. Yeah, I think I have your the Celestial Art and the Noble Wiles and uh, your other animal books. But I also have uh, a lot of your older uh keys to enlightenment you know volume one volume two volume three and the secrets of effortless oh. practice <laughs> wow you have more than i ever have in my hand <laughs> ah yeah i have most of your books and poetry as well i don't have any <laughs> i have a couple here and there because but i don't have any in my hand at all mostly because i travel a lot and I don't have kind of very fixed area, and so everything I guess you can find in Meoli, if you're missing anything, they probably collect them there. I could, uh, yeah, if I spot something I don't have, I could request a copy. <laughs> sure, sure. If you go there, please uh, just uh, ask for anything you need. Huh? Sure, yeah, I always like questions and answer type books. Uh, yeah, that's a nice uh, format. Yeah, we have. They have been very diligent. The people who practice Quaning Method with me, they collect many things for my old talk or something and, and, and put it into books, and sometimes they surprise me, too. Right, yes, all of the recordings. Yeah. Sometimes I didn't know I talked so much <laughs> over the years about many things. Now and again, I watch the Supreme Master television, and they air some of the old lectures, and I was quite surprised. I said, oh. I did talk like that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've, somebody sent me a box of old uh, VHS tapes, you know, dating back uh, quite a few years. Yeah. And so yeah. I watched quite a few of those. Those, uh, you know, back in the 90s, early, er, early or mid 90s. Oh, even before that, uh, I used to have some small talk here and there. But uh, before that, we did not record anything. Ah. So only record it after uh, people gather around more and they're interested and they want to keep these talks so they begin to get a camera or record equipment and then we begin to have uh, the recorded tapes and book itself. <laughs> right, and now the uh, uh, television, the satellite and internet uh, TV, people can watch talks uh, day or night, anytime? 
Uh, yeah, anytime, 24-7. <laughs> yeah, and it works out really well. I have different computers and use different operating systems. And yeah, Supreme Master Television uh, works really well on any operating system or the different browsers. You know, it works really well, I think. Oh, I'm glad. Nowadays we have a so good uh, communication system. It's, it's good for the planet to have such fantastic equipment so that people can share knowledge and remind each other of goodness. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the whole world is uh, getting connected together. Yeah, very connected, hey. Yeah, I have a few friends at Facebook that are from Mongolia. <laughs> oh. Yeah, even Mongolia has high-speed internet now, at least in the capital and yes, you know, certain yes. cities. Yes, yes. Wow, you know, it's incredible. And it's good that we are connected with each other. And it would be even better if we are all connected to our God self again. <laughs> yes, everything connected. Maybe that be one day we are more connected to our real self, right? Eh? Yep, uh, connected within and connected to each other, yes. and then we'll have uh, a golden age. Yes, yes. It has begun already, just that uh, to some people only, not to everybody, because some people, they still do not realize that. Right, got to get to the, the hundredth monkey or that, that critical mass. Uh-huh, yeah, who knows, maybe we can get that one day, huh, James? Yes. Uh, with your radio and uh, maybe with uh, the Supreme Master Television, we work together with others uh, like-minded people. Maybe we can help to elevate the planet, huh? I think so. Yeah, I, I'm pretty encouraged these days. There's a lot of people with the same vision and they be optimistic that good things will cancel out the, the negative. Yeah. Making progress. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Uh, the more positive energy, the better for us. Huh? Absolutely. Yes. Let's pray that one day this world will become truly heaven on earth. Yes, we have the power to make it the way it is now. We can make it better. Yes, yes, sure. Everyone can do it. It's just they have to use their heavenly power instead of the negative power, which unfortunately we also can have access to. Right. Right. Well, it's great speaking with you today. It's good, James. It's good. Thanks for doing this because you're spreading the good news and uh, you're doing your part in uh, rebuilding this world. And I'm deeply grateful. Ah, well, my pleasure. Great speaking with you. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. It has been a joy to have your charming company on today's Words of Wisdom. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for a journey through aesthetic realms coming up next after noteworthy news. Farewell and God bless. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW.